I came from a very non-traditional family. I have four adopted brothers and sisters, so my childhood was filled with all these other options for how to create a family. <laughs> I've seen the museum search for needs or have needs presented to them and how they tackle those challenges. And it made me think I can do that too in my own life. The sanctuary was born out of an idea that um, kids come into care at a very rapid rate. The Children's Museum has actually come into the emergency sanctuary and help us set up a play-friendly area where kids can paint and draw and color and really be creative. I would say one of the biggest challenges there, just their emotions are so high and they have, they have so much love, but they don't know how to channel it. What the Children's Museum offers to kids in foster care is, uh, first of all, a place for them to express creativity and learn how to do that. And the second thing it does is it gives them a sense of community. When kids are living in tra traumatic situations, they are not able to access that part of their brain where creativity and play come into their lives. It's funny, like to begin with, they didn't really have a sense of play that we could identify. You see them justifying their world through play. He is turning three, and when he first came into our home, he maybe had a hundred words in his vocabulary, and now he's talking in eight word sentences, and talking and talking and talking, has full of <laughs> conversations and crazy stories, and mm -hmm. that growth has also been mm -hmm. huge. Well, one of the great things about the trains at the Children's Museum is that we do offer childcare during the trainings, and I know it's a huge barrier in order to attend these classes that they need. <laughs> the honest answer is there's more days that I want to cry than not. More days that I feel like I am not good for this, I am not good at this, and, and where it pays off is seeing growth in, in the child, seeing a genuine, true smile. It's those times where they're teaching me that I'm a good parent. It's those times where they want to give me a hug because they see that I'm struggling. It's, it's those times where I know, where I know we did good. We're a good family today. <laughs>